If you could ever really find the word majestic, we just lived there right here in Mauritius. Ever since I was a child, whales have captivated my imagination and the dream to see them has finally brought me here to Mauritius, which is known as one of the best places for whale watching. So today I set my heart on seeing these creatures, even if it's just for a glimpse. There, 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 there. Still there, still, still. He said hello. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they love to do that, huh? Yeah. If they are playing. <laughs> so beautiful. I've been dreaming to see this since I was a kid. <laughs> it's unreal. It's better than I could imagine when I was a kid. Dreams do come true. <laughs> yeah, crazy. It's forced to come here just for this. Fly it from anywhere to Mauritius just to see this. <laughs> Mauritius has promised me a sight of whales, but is about to deliver so much more. Go, 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 go! Look down, look down! the word majestic we just lived it right here in Mauritius incredible <laughs> and now we're about to show you the most captivating optical illusion on earth it's something you've never seen before and it's right there behind me well you you need a drone to see it I think this right here is the underwater waterfall but well, it's an optical illusion which is created by the movement of sand from shallow to deeper waters so underwater waterfall is definitely the main attraction in Mauritius, but the problem is that you can't see it from the beach. And yeah, the drone is an option. Ernestus thinks it's the only option, but I know the second one, and it will be a total surprise for him, and I hope he will really love it. Hey, why didn't you fly the planes here? It's what we are doing today. What? We are going to the plane. No way. Yeah. <laughs> really? That's fast, baby. Why am I flying the drone? You're alive, that's so incredible. <laughs> I'm here. Oh goodness. <laughs> the best surprise ever. I really didn't expect it. It's the most beautiful sight I've ever oh. seen in my life. <laughs> incredible. Mm. Definitely do it. Yeah. Definitely do it. <laughs> and next to the underwater waterfall, you'll find another natural phenomenon of the island. The unbelievable rainbow sand dunes, made up from sand from seven different colors which formed due to the volcanic activity here on the island more than a million years ago. But the most interesting part is if you were to mix all the sand together, over time it would just separate itself into its own layers. Oh, Hello. Another thing you'll find in the park is a tortoise. We've never seen one in our lives, so it's the first time for us, and we learned a little bit about this one. It's about 140 years old, an average lifespan is about 150. It is a meter in length, 
and it weighs a quarter of a ton. Cute? Yeah. Besides the seven colored earth, this place and this park is actually home to one of the largest waterfalls in Mauritius. Tramorel is also the perfect place to try the famous Mauritian freshly squeezed sugarcane juice. Very sweet. For some reason, it tastes very healthy, but very sweet like sugar, sugar drink. The sugarcane plantations cover approximately 85% of the island, and initially, of course, it was predominantly used for sugar production, but over time, the production of rum took a hold. So why did Mauritians switch from sugar production to rum? Because they thought life is sweeter with a little bit of spirit. This is traditional rum, 50% alcohol. No, no. Brown rum, let's try it. More smooth, more smooth. Better rum. Mm -hmm. Sweet, very sweet. Delicious. You know, I always thought that the best thing that came out of sugar canes was sugar. Oh boy, was I wrong. Continue with the spice, bro. Oh, it kind of tastes like Christmas, you know? Like some cinnamon, some kind of stuff like It's like a Christmas one. We well, you know how they say Mauritius is the paradise on earth. Well, I think they've been taking a little bit of that paradise and distilling it into these bottles. And this is a sacred crater lake that represents the Ganges River in India and it is one of the most sacred places here in Mauritius and attracts thousands of pilgrims and we're lucky enough to come here during one of the festivals. Mauritius is known for its blend of cultures, but what was surprising to us is that its biggest ethnic group was Indian. So while you're in Mauritius, you can expect to learn not only about the locals, but also about the Hindu community. Just walking, I already got a bunch of presents. I don't know what. <laughs> and the temple here gives its visitors an insight of the thriving Hindu community and culture. And the best way to finish your trip to Mauritius is by hiking the famous La Morne. However, as you approach the summit, this hike turns into a climb with increasingly steep incline, making it quite the challenge. Good? <laughs> Try. But once you make it up, it feels like you just made it to the top of the world. 360 degree view of Mauritius. One more way to see the underwater waterfall. This hike, definitely worth the struggle. If there's paradise on Earth, it is definitely Mauritius. It doesn't just offer an experience, it gifts memories, raw and untamed. If your heart seeks depth, not just in the oceans, but in emotions, come to Mauritius. Here, your dreams dive deep.